I remember how the underground scene used to be in the loop, right? Mm-hmm. Where the artist artist was, you know, where the shade butter females was, you know what <laughs> I'm saying? How has it changed? Um, it really don't seem to be the same as it was. It's like it's like it's kind of like there was an era where that shit was just going up hard. Like, yeah, I, our era. Yeah, I I would say that we had the golden era of STL music because we had um we had the slum festivals. Yeah, we had all these different places to perform. Yeah, everybody was just really blossoming. Like Te- Tepo was like. It was Prom Tef, yeah, Prom Rocky, A Verb, and Young Ill, Hitman Holla was mm-hmm. representing us with the battle scene. For sure, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like we had just everybody, you know, situated in certain you know spots, putting us on. Yeah, this was and you know like before that we kind of went through like a dry spot, you know, and people wasn't taking us serious, you know, with the with the music that Nelly and you know. Uh, Chingy and Huey and them respectfully right. put out, and they can rap, but that was just the music, just you know, to to make hits. Exactly. But everybody wasn't taking us serious because of that. Then we had you know Verb and them; they really kind of shed a different light on us, and then that kind of opened up the doors for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like that that era right there uh, was just special. And nowadays, like we don't have that many you know places to perform. Uh, and it seemed like everybody's kind of like divided. It's it's not like a you know unified as it used to be. Right. People used to talk about how it wasn't unified, but we was very unified, man. Uh, yeah. was hella unified. I, I think we're more divided now, um, from like the like the cast that's on to come up now doing their thing, running stuff, uh, to like people kind of more seasoned. I don't really see too many of you know the OGs now kind of mentoring or reaching out to the to the young guys. That's why like I try to make sure I go to events, Nando's right. listening party or right. uh you know what young cats got like shows I like try to pull up just to let them know that, hey man, I hear you, I support you because that's what cats like Tef Poe right. and Rockwell Knuckles did to me when I was just trying to find my 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 way. They like they was already like them them dudes and them reaching out and put me on records or jumping on my records or just even mentioning me helped me become who I am today. Okay, they pulled up on you. Yeah, and yeah, man. It, yeah. it was a different era, man. Like, I'm talking about, you throw the underground event in, and it's packed. And like, them shit used to be yeah. packed, It's a bro. line outside, be, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about the top tier queens. Yep. Shea yeah. Butters. I'm talking about Froze, Naturals, nigga. Oil Sheen just smelling throughout the, the venue, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they wearing they That's earth, real, they wearing they man. earth tones, nigga. Bro, okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, it was a vibe. Yeah, <laughs> it was a vibe, and I hate I be seeing yeah, it. I be seeing it. It's like, moment. yeah, it's like it ain't like that no more. Yeah. Dang, bro, it's like, and that's crazy because that shit was lit. And man, like all the of, events that used to go go on, man, were like. Not not just the underground hip hop shows like where they perform, but uh, like the rap battles. And they had the the rap battles at yeah. uh, African Palace, bro. Yeah, African Palace, that, yeah. that was probably Dude. the most packed out of everything. Yeah, yeah, I ain't never seen no traffic up there that much, bro. It was like it was just a good time to be a part of the scene, man. Like early twenty tens, yeah. Like that was that to me. That was the golden era of St. Louis hip hop. Yeah, man. Um, you ain't never got into battle rap. 